Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about capacitor plague. Capacitor plague is a thing that has occurred in a lot of computer systems manufactured from, let's say, 2000 to 2006. And it is basically a lot of manufacturers of capacitors copied, the other, copied a certain formula to make the electrolyte that goes into the um, cylinder capacitors. And this particular formula was mi was missing an anti-corrosive agent, so a few months after the capacitor was used on a motherboard or a video card or whatever, it would this, the electrolyte would just break down and it caused the top of the capacitor to swell up or the bottom to push itself away from the board itself. Go ahead and show you an example here on this older compact Evo. I already got it pretty much up and up for you. Okay, and pull these drives out of the way. Get a flashlight and show you here. As you see, right here, these capacitors, the tops are like blowing on them, and you can see electrolyte like oozing out of them. More detailed view here, you can really see what I'm talking about. You can see the little, looks almost like plus signs on top of the capacitors. And what these are for is the way the capacitor fit gets under pressure it can bust up and vent out the electrolyte and you can see some of it is coming out on a few of these capacitors. Not a very pretty sight and what this will do a lot of times when this stuff starts oozing out the capacitor can, can no longer sometimes it can no longer conduct energy and sometimes it can't hold the capacitance it can't hold electricity so a lot of times motherboards would act really weird. I have one board upstairs that has a few bad caps on it and it's every just every once in a while it'll just freeze up and I have another board that cannot it cannot actually restart by itself you have to manually turn it off and turn it back on and the thing is these capacitors here are on, are on what's called the CPU VRM voltage regulating module as you see right here is the um, ATX 12 volt coming from the power supply the power comes in here runs through here do you see all these capacitors and when these things no longer work like they're supposed to, they um, no longer supply adequate clean power to the processor, causing the computer to be unstable. And this will show you another example. All these boards here are pulled from e-machines, which the good boards, I've removed the capacitors from them, and I reuse them on different boards. Right here is an example of capacitor plague. These particular capacitors, actually these are Nichicons, and the thing is about these, they, um, I'm not sure if it's a, it a corrosive issue, or I think they, I think in this one they put too much electrolyte into the capacitors. I've seen quite a few boards that have had this problem, particularly these Intel boards. Here's an example of what capacitors are supposed to look like. Those are Rubicons, Japanese capacitors, and, the, and this particular brand did not have this flaw, so... A lot of computers that had Japanese capacitors didn't suffer from this. As you see, there's another brand of capacitors. These are Sanyo's. They're in good condition. As you heard me mention earlier, I take good capacitors off of non-working boards. As you see, in this container, I have lots of various grades of capacitors. Let's say that one there. This thing come off of um. E machines board. This in here come off of like an HP board from like 2001. It's all sorts of different kinds of capacitors here, all cylinder capacitors. And the reason why I keep these is so if I ever come across some other board that has bad capacitors but seems to work, you can resolder new capacitors onto the board. So what I do is I just I save these good capacitors and I reuse them on boards that need the capacitors replaced. This motherboard here you're looking at is an old MSI 815E Pro. This is an old Pentium 3 board. Got this board at a flea market for $10 a couple years ago. And it had bad capacitors on it. All the capacitors on the um, CPU VRM were bad. Had blown tops on them. Didn't want to use them because they would probably cause instability. So I was successfully able to resolder in good capacitors of the same grade. 
these are Rubicons. These are Japanese capacitors. So good quality capacitors. This board works great now. I just happen to not need it anymore since it's so old. But just to say, it was a good board back in this day. Pretty, pretty overclockable too. Here you're looking at a different board that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. This is an ABIC KT7 RAID motherboard. This was a hot board back in its day. But as you see, bad capacitor here, bad capacitor here, 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 here. Let's see, where else? There's another one. There's quite a few bad caps on this board, even one there. This board was manufactured in probably 2000 or 2001. This board works, but it can't restart like it's supposed to. You have to manually shut it off and then turn it back on to restart it. One of these days, I'll pull this board out and put some good caps on it. It'll probably be a good board, but it's not really worth it since the technology is so old. But this will show you. This is a good example from stuff that I've got. The good, a good example of, of what capacitor plague is, which systems that you that um in motherboards and stuff that are manufactured after like 2007, it's usually not an issue you'd have to worry about. But sometimes, like if you buy really cheap power supplies and stuff like that, that can have this problem too, because some of the really cheap capacitor companies still use the same formula that causes this within a few months of use. For you Apple guys, even the Macs suffer from, from this quite a bit. There's quite a few different models of Macs that had this problem. There's actually a forum online that's called BadCaps.net. Anyways, it's a forum that um, shows all sorts of different photos and stuff. You ought to check it out. I'm going to put a annotation with a link in it on the, on the video. You can just go ahead and check this out. Yeah, there you have it.